Hi there. So I'm just getting set up for the sun salutation that we talked about today. Um, the first round, I'm just going to show you the different poses that we picked out today in your session um, and kind of walk you through, um, you know, the little cues and details about them that are important. Um, and then the next round, we'll do the three breaths per pose to get into our bodies, okay? So I will go ahead and get this made and send off to you, and then we'll recoup on Friday about it. So go ahead and take out your mat. If you have yoga blocks, great. If not, um, have something that's steady and available to you to use as a substitute. You know, it might be like some thicker books that will be okay just temporarily or some taped boxes. Um, you might have something sturdy around your house that I, I can't think of off the top of my head. But just finding something that can substitute as blocks if you don't already have them. Um, Walmart and Target also have um, yoga blocks as well. Um, the ones at Walmart, I think, are only $4 a block, so they're not too expensive either if you just want to go get a couple to have at home just in case. Um, but I'll go ahead and meet you on your mat. The first sec the first time around, I'll cue everything with the little details, and the second time around, we'll hold the poses with our breath. So we come to our mat. I have my blocks right next to me. I'm standing at the top of my mat. And we'll meet in mountain pose as the first pose. So mountain, our feet are underneath our hips. We've got that strong core to support our bodies, melting those shoulders back, letting the hands fall by our sides. Then we breathe in and we reach up. Your spine can stay neutral or you can take that back bend, lifting the heart and the eyes, reaching through those fingertips. As you breathe out, you'll lower down into your fold, inviting those blocks in. So the blocks are underneath your hands for support here. There's that softness in the knees. Then we move back into tabletop. So that keeping the blocks in that stronger leg steps back and lowers down. And then the injured one follows. When you're ready, you can remove those blocks, bringing your hands down to your mat and sliding the knees back into that modified plank pose. Use an exhale to lower in chaturanga. So we try to keep those elbows in and close to the rib cage with strong arms as we lower down. As we breathe in, we lift into our back bend, that's upward facing dog. Creating that nice rounding of the spine here, maybe lifting the tops of the thighs off of the mat so that we can protect that lower back. Then we breathe out to lower and soften to the ground. Tucking the toes under, we gently press back into tabletop. And you can stay in tabletop if downward facing dog ever starts to feel like too much. If you'd like, you can lift the hips and move into downward facing dog, keeping that softness in the knees, pressing the belly back towards the, the thighs to create length here. Look towards the hands. Use an inhale to walk forward into your fold, inviting those blocks in once more. Setting them aside when you're ready. Breathe in. Roll the body up. Take the back bend if you'd like. And then exhale into mountain. So now we'll do the sun salutation with our breath to movement. So we're gonna try to hold each pose for about three breaths here, apart from plank if that feels like too much. So starting in mountain, three breaths. Use an inhale to sweep up, stay neutral or take the back bend. On your next exhale, find your fold, bring those blocks in, find a softness in the hip, in the knees as the hips lift up. Keep the blocks here, step the stronger leg back, lower the injured one. When you're ready, remove the blocks and plant your hands on the mat. 
Slide your knees back into that modified plank pose. Use an exhale to lower in chaturanga, keeping the elbows knitted in. Untuck the toes and breathe into upward facing dog. Back to that three cycle breath. Use an exhale to lower down. Tuck the toes, press back into tabletop. You can stay in table or you can lift the hips into downward facing dog. Three breaths. Look towards your hands, breathe in and walk forward into your fold. Inviting those blocks in for three more breaths. Use an inhale to sweep up. Take the back bend if you'd like. Exhale into mountain. Remembering that you can use mountain pose as a point to check in with your breath, recalling the sensations that came up in your body in each pose so that the next time you flow through, you're more aware of them and you can make any little adjustments that you need to to make your body feel more supported and comfortable. So keep practicing holding those poses for three breaths. Don't overdo it because we don't want to stress that leg out at all. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and take your time feeling into your body, getting to know the poses and exploring them to make new modifications as you go. All right, namaste and have a good night.